Have you ever wondered how an animal as grand and robust as the woolly mammoth vanished from the face of the earth? This colossal creature, a shaggy relative of the elephant, once roamed the icy expanses of North America, Europe, and Asia, thriving in the harsh conditions of the last ice age. Yet as the climate warmed and their habitat began to shrink, the mammoth's reign started facing its twilight. The reasons behind their extinction remain an enigma. Some scientists propose that the mammoths fell prey to the relentless human hunt for their meat, bones, and majestic tusks. Yet, it's up for debate whether human hunting alone could have marked the end of this species. Others suggest that climate change with the accompanying shifts in vegetation and habitat delivered the final blow, pushing the mammoth populations into a corner from which they couldn't return. To unravel this mystery, we first need to understand the life and times of these magnificent creatures. The woolly mammoth, a cousin of today's elephants, was a true titan of the Ice Age. Roaming the frosty expanses of North America, Europe, and Asia, these magnificent beasts were a testament to nature's ingenuity. They were not just survivors of the harsh Ice Age winters, they were masters of their icy domain. The woolly mammoth was a marvel of adaptation. Picture a creature standing up to three and a half meters tall at the shoulder. That's about the height of a single-story house. Its body was covered in a thick, shaggy coat of fur, providing insulation against the biting cold. Underneath the fur, a layer of fat up to four centimeters thick offered additional warmth and energy reserves. Now let's talk about those iconic tusks. These impressive dental structures could grow up to five meters long, not only a symbol of might. The tusks had a practical purpose too. The mammoths used them to dig through snow and ice to reach the vegetation beneath. Their humped backs, often mistaken for a sign of malnutrition, were actually reserves of fat that helped them endure the long, harsh winters. The woolly mammoths were not solitary wanderers, but social animals living in families and herds. Their range was vast, stretching from the British Isles in the west to North America in the east, and from the Arctic islands in the north to modern-day Germany and China in the south. They thrived in these cold habitats, feeding on grasses, herbs, and shrubs that flourished beneath the snow. But the world of the woolly mammoth was an ever-changing one. The Ice Age was not a static period of perpetual winter, but a time of dramatic climate fluctuations. As the millennia rolled on, the earth began to warm, and the icy landscapes that the mammoths had dominated for so long started to thaw. As the Ice Age neared its end, however, the world these creatures knew began to change dramatically. With the end of the Ice Age came a warmer climate, a change that the cold-adapted mammoths found challenging. As the Earth's temperature began to rise, the vast icy landscapes that the mammoths called home started to disappear. The tundra was replaced by forests and grasslands, a shift that had profound implications for these giants of the Ice Age. The woolly mammoths, with their thick fur and humped backs, were perfectly adapted to frigid conditions. They relied heavily on the tundra's vegetation for sustenance, feasting on grasses, herbs, and shrubs found in these cold environments. But as the Ice Age thawed, these plants became increasingly scarce. The forests and grasslands that replaced the tundra were dominated by different types of vegetation, ones that the mammoths weren't accustomed to or couldn't digest easily. This shift in vegetation would have put considerable stress on the mammoth populations. Food became harder to find, and the mammoths would have had to travel greater distances to find enough to eat. This would have been particularly challenging for the young, the old, and the sick, making them more vulnerable to predators and disease. The changing climate also meant changes in the mammoth's habitat. As the ice receded, the mammoth's range became fragmented. Populations were isolated from each other, which could have led to a decrease in genetic diversity. This loss of diversity could have made the mammoths more susceptible to disease and less able to adapt to their rapidly changing environment. So the thawing of the Ice Age presented a multitude of challenges for the woolly mammoths. Their food sources dwindled, their habitats changed, and their populations became isolated. These factors, combined with the physical stress of adapting to a warmer climate, would have put significant pressure on these magnificent creatures. But climate change, 
wasn't the only threat the mammoths faced. They also had to contend with a new predator, humans. As we'll see in the next scene, this combination of environmental change and increasing human pressure proved to be a fatal mix for the woolly mammoths. As humans spread across the globe, they came into conflict with the mammoths for resources. This wasn't some minor squabble over the last piece of cake at a party, but a fight for survival. Picture this, early humans armed with primitive weapons facing off against these enormous shaggy behemoths. It seems almost impossible, doesn't it? But the evidence is there, carved into the bones of long dead mammoths and etched into our collective human history. The mammoths were more than just adversaries to our ancestors. They were a source of life. Their meat provided food, their bones were used for tools and shelter, and their tusks. Well, those were the ancient equivalent of gold, used for trading and crafting into precious objects. In essence, the mammoths were the supermarkets of the Ice Age. But here's the big question. Was it our ancestors' appetite for mammoth steaks and ivory trinkets that led to the mammoths' downfall? Or were there other factors at play? This is where the plot thickens, and where scientists are still trying to piece together the puzzle. Some argue that human hunting was the main driver behind the mammoth's extinction. After all, our ancestors were pretty good at hunting, and mammoths were a prime target. Others, however, believe that while hunting certainly didn't help the mammoth's cause, it wasn't the sole reason for their demise. They point to climate change, shifts in vegetation, and habitat loss as additional stresses that would have made life increasingly difficult for these Ice Age giants. One thing is clear though, our ancestors played a role in the extinction of the mammoths. Whether it was the main act or just a supporting role, we'll probably never know for sure. While the exact cause of their extinction may still be a topic of debate, the loss of the woolly mammoth is a stark reminder of the impact we can have on the natural world. So, what led to the disappearance of these magnificent Ice Age giants? In our journey through time, we've walked alongside woolly mammoths, these colossal creatures that ruled the icy landscapes of North America, Europe, and Asia. They were the epitome of resilience perfectly equipped to thrive in the harsh cold with their dense fur, humped back, and imposing tusks. Yet as the curtains fell on the Ice Age and the world began to warm, the mammoths found themselves in a fight for survival. Their once expansive icy homeland contracted, and they were thrust into a competition for resources, a competition that included a new challenger, humans. Humans, with their growing populations and evolving tools, hunted the mammoths. They sought the mammoths for their meat, bones, and the prized tusks. But the question that has puzzled scientists for years is whether this hunting was enough to push the mammoths into the abyss of extinction. It's likely that the mammoths were fighting a war on two fronts. As they grappled with human hunters, the warming climate was reshaping their world, altering the vegetation and shrinking their habitats. This climate change, coupled with hunting pressures, may have delivered the final blow to the mammoth populations. As we ponder the fate of the woolly mammoth, it reminds us of the delicate balance of life on our planet and the profound impact we can have on it. 